Right, must have a very delightful Mark White after a, a very good 4-1 win against Bath City. I, obviously, I never called that, so you must be very pleased. Oh, yeah, really pleased. Um, you know, mostly for the fans who've stuck with us in, in recent weeks. It's been a tough time for us, Daz. Um, we've had to manage just a huge glut of injuries. Um, <coughs> and I'll keep talking about it until the cars come home, but the fans have been tremendous, clapping us on the pitch. And to score a few goals in front of them today in the second half, to kill the game off, was what I want to do for them supporters. Um, in t as a spectacle, um, I thought, um, yeah, Bath are a great side. Oh, yeah. Um, Jerry had changed his formation two, three times in a game and his players know what to do. He's an excellent coach and manager, one of the best. And <coughs> we just had individuals that had a little bit too much for them. Um, and the likes of Briggs, man of the match. And, you know, in, in any chat, we've been missing a lot of what I'd call our elite players. And that's not detrimental to anybody else. Every changing room's got individuals that score 30 a season or, or change a game or, um, you know, and Briggs is a big player for us. And, you know, on his day, 200 appearance last week, 201 today, he's, he's, he's unplayable. And best of all, he drags other people with him. When you've got a player who's that good, it's so motivational for everyone on the pitch in the, in the dugout. So, you know, I thought Alfie as well, was excellent and, and I'm pleased because we, I saw that in him at training this week and you know, I think Rutherford when he plays high in particular I don't like him dropping in he, he's not a no. he's not a hold up player he's, no. when he plays high he's a nuisance mm. he's absolutely clinical in front of goal the, the first goal today Briggs and Rutherford is uh, that was a fantastic goal uh, looking forward to seeing it back you know the finish was a real striker's finish and, mm. and rather he's got that extra bit of quality that you need um, but you know I thought on the balance of play, Stuart Nelson, good debut, didn't have a lot to do, really, at all. Um, I thought our defenders done well, largely. Um, and, and uh, you know, we're on an upward trajectory. Definitely. We're, you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're definitely, we've had a good few weeks. I asked you the question before, maybe some people might think it was a silly question, but about people stepping up to the plate, and they did certainly today without uh, Pryor, and uh, I was so pleased with Rutherford, you know, his work rate is untold, you know, you're putting him in the team just for his work rate at the end of the day, and I was really pleased that it was a great performance, I yeah. thought. He's got a bit extra out for, you know, 100%, I mean, he's, he's, he scored 20 goals in the league above this three years ago. Sure. You know, people forget that. And, and he's he, only young. He hasn't completed a season yet. I, I see him, I do see him being a big part of this club for a long time um, but look it's, I'm, I'm happy today sure. I mean I'm, I'm really happy because it's for me you me everybody going home happy with a win you know we want to as a club you know we want to you know slowly but surely just you know keep bonding and forming I, I think it's going to take this group a, a while to get where we were before you know what I mean sure. um, but today there was loads of positives and um, we created chances today and put them away whereas in other matches we've not yeah 100% it's not as if it's not as if Tunbridge aside all the other matches we've had enough go chances to win you know three times over sure but um, today was a lot better I was pleased for McShane as well because you know he had to get in those positions to score those goals you know that you, you could just hold back and not get in those positions but he carried on his yeah. runs and he got there yeah and Alfie great Great hold, uh, great um, uh, build up play. Got his head up, picked yeah. him out. Three assists and a goal. Yeah, I mean, they, we're <laughs> dangerous, you know. And the thing is, you know, you know, when you play players like Briggs, um, you know, that, that can play the way they play, it, it takes attention off others. You know, it does. It takes attention off others, you know. So I thought today that was the case. I thought, you know, they had two thorns in their side today, and I thought it was Alfie and Briggs, if I'm honest. And the rest was do a job. Um, so yeah, lots to work on this week still, and obviously a big game next week. But uh, but I'm really pleased. Three questions I ask you: like, obviously you took Callum off at half time. Was that tactical, or and then Ed Harris had to come off? Is he injured? Yep, Harris has done his calf, so that's a concern now for next Saturday. So that's a big shame. Um, you know, that's the only negative today. Yes, um, he's been probably our most consistent player. Mm. <laughs> so, but Sammy Elab is our lucky charm, and he's an absolute warrior winner. Um, 
doesn't surprise me. You know, the minute he comes on, we, we get over that line. Um, so, yeah, Ed's there. Yeah, at half time, uh, I thought we needed an extra midfielder. Um, I thought they're mobile in there, and I thought putting Nile in there to tighten it up a bit would make a big difference. And also thought Macca getting between the lines. So that was one of the changes I pat myself on the back on, to yeah, be honest, because yeah, Macca's yeah. gone and got goals yes. um, in those areas, and, and Nile had a great second half. Um, so yeah, but that's you've only got a good squad. You you, you know you can you can do that type of thing. Sure, I don't like bringing the officials up, but I had to today because I, that w I didn't think that was a penalty. Their penalty, to be fair, and some of the decisions he gave today, you only had to touch someone and they fell over, and he was given pe uh, free kicks left, right, and centre. So I don't know what your thoughts were. Yeah, I, honestly, I, I, he's such a nice guy, Steve, but he was, um, and, and actually, he's he's usually um, he's usually quite quite efficient, but today. Scoring him out of ten, one, and that's probably for parking in the right place on the way in. <laughs> um, but the thing is, I'm, I'm happy about it because we've won. But at two one, and it gives a free kick on the edge of the box against Ed Harris. That I, I don't. No one on the entire mm. ground, including Jerry and his management team, knew how on earth he'd given it. The line's been included, and you know, it's edge of the box free kick could be two all game changer. I don't know, mate, and, and, and I, yeah, I agree with you. I just thought like someone went to ground, it, it was kind of like a free kick, and I, I didn't think his positioning was amazing. Um, I didn't think it was a penalty, and it, it sounds like I'm moaning, but you know, officiating is, is, is a, at the moment, is, is, a, is a big issue. It's a big issue. Um, and um, you know, I thought today, we're going away happy because we won. Mm. But I thought Steve, um, you know, did not have a great game, and I, and I just hope he watches that back and says, Do you know what, he's right. I didn't have a great game there. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, but you know, that's and Noel should have had a penalty down there. That was definitely yeah. pinned down yeah, there. Yeah, it's he, a penalty. Yeah, I know. And the linesmen really. should have given it as well. You yeah, know, the linesmen were both quiet, and you know, like the, the, the line for, for the free kick edge of the box. The linesman knows it's not a free kick. I think you should buzz and say, you know, it's not. I mean, I, I guess you don't want to overrule the ref, but yeah. Um, Look, it's easy for us because we make mistakes as managers and that all the time. But I just did think today, it particularly not great. Sure. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, not ideal. Anyway, moving on. So, we've got a real big game next Saturday. Really looking forward to the build-up. So, what's the build-up? Talk to us. How's the, how's the build-up going to be for them for this week, for the FA Cup next week? Well, we're going to go to IB from Monday. <laughs> Can I come? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what, guys? Listen, I might call it wrong, but... This lot with 90 minutes to help the club get someone they've not been before. Um, they're, they're not going to leave anything out there, this lot. Not in a million years. I know the team. Um, I think what an upward trajectory. I absolutely, massively respect Hayes and Yedden. I think they're good enough to come here and, and, and pass us off the field. Um, and they may well do. Serious pedigree as a management team. But, you know, I think it's a good draw for us, Gary. Home draw. A team from the league below, we've got players returning. And I think that makes a big difference to us, Gary. I think we go from being, you know, above average to being very good. Um, but, you know, me talking this up means nothing. They're going to do the homework. Paul's excellent at what he does there. They've got excellent players as well. And, you know, made the best team win. But I think, I've got to be honest, I think it's a really good draw for us. And... There'll be nothing left out there, mate, because the financial reward, the financial reward, um, first round TV match, you know, draw someone away with a 40,000, 35,000 crowd to get half the gate, that's the rules. It could be a half a million pound windfall, genuinely. So we're not going to leave anything out there, that's for sure. And I def it was 700 people here today, 7,500 people here yeah. today. I would think you could put another two on that. Could, we could be touching nine nine hundred thousand, maybe. I hope, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so, mate. I mean, let, we want to get you know a thousand plus in here for that game, and you know, I don't think Hayes are, are, have the biggest following, so that's that'd be a real big advantage when get the supporters in it. But we'll get, we're getting new supporters in all the time, mate. And you know, today there's people that maybe go to Premier League or League football that come here for the first time and go away thinking, Jesus, why am I spending all day Saturday out the house to watch that crap and spend a fortune? when I can go down my local side, they play great football, there's a lot of passion down there and, you know, that. so, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, mate, we get a load in for it and I'm just hoping we get good officials, made the best team win, I think it'll be a great game, 
but I am really pleased with that draw, Gary, being at home, big time. Sure, well, thanks very much for the day, Mark. Cheers, well, mate. Well done to the lads, and uh, have a great yeah, week. cheers, mate. And I'll see you next Saturday. Cheers, mate. Don't say we're going to draw ever again. No, I won't say. Well, cheers, mate. I might win if I keep saying yeah, that. Yeah, good point. <laughs> cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy.